Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about DC compound motors. So generally DC compound motors are two types. One is called long shunt compound motor and next one is the short shunt compound motor. These are the two motors. Long shunt nothing but see here this is my shunt winding which is in parallel to the armature winding and the series field winding is like this. For example, short shunt nothing but I told you already the shunt field winding in parallel to the armature winding this combination is in series to the series field winding like this. As usually here we have a armature actually and here we have a armature again. What is here? V and the current is IL voltage supply voltage V current is IL this IL divided into two parts one is ISE which is IA one is ISH and here the resistance is RF of course here this is voltage V the current is IL this IL is nothing but ISE this ISE divided into two parts one is armature current other one is shunt current and this resistance is RSH like this very simple now tell me here what is ISH ISH is equals to V by RSH this is clear already for shunt motor shunt generator long shunt motor long shunt generator same what is long shunt motor or generator generally very simple the RSE in series with armature this combination parallel with shunt what about here RSH in parallel with armature this combination series with series this is very simple long shunt and short shunt is it clear up to now right next one let's see here I already explained to you if the shunt winding open circuited then the machine act as a series machine if the shunt winding open circuited the machine act as a series motor if the series field winding short circuited like this if the series field winding short circuited then the machine act as a shunt motor you should know already this one because we already discussed in generators and here for same armature current for same line current the line current of long shunt is equals to line current of short shunt armature current of long shunt is equals to armature current of short shunt for same rating the series field current of long shunt is tell me less than series field current of short shunt because the total IL but here IL this is the IL minus ISH but this is total IL here the long shunt series field current is IL minus IHS but here the short shunt the current is ISE is nothing but IL in which the current is more voltage drop also more voltage drop is less if voltage drop is less voltage regulation is less here voltage regulation is more if the current is more losses also more if current is less losses is less if the losses is less 
Efficiency is more, here efficiency is less. So here, long shunt motor efficiency is more, long shunt generator losses is more. These two we already discussed in generators and here somewhat different. This is simply the long shunt and short shunt motors. Up to clear? Up to now clear? Let's draw the equations. So one equation is completed. ISH is equal to V by RSH. It is completed. The next one, what is the current equation here? IL is equals to ISE plus ISH and ISE is equals to IA. This is the current equation for long shunt. You know that very well. What is the voltage in loop equation? V is equals to tell me V is equals to IA of RA plus RSE because this current is same plus EB of course we have a brush voltage drop we know this what is the power equation V into IL is equals to IA square RA plus RSE plus EB into IA plus brush losses and V into ISH also included because shunt. Here, what is that? The power. We have to increase all the powers in the circuit. This is important. So, V into IL is the input power and totally. So, this is the current and voltage and power equations of long shunt. And here ISH is equals to V by RSH. I think I forgot in long shunt generator. In long shunt generator also the answer is same. Even in shunt generator also the answer is same. All right. Coming to short shunt motor. What is the current equation? IL is equals to ISE. This ISE is equals to. Tell me. ISE is divided into two parts, IA plus ISH, this is simply. Of course, this is armature resistance and back EMF. What is the voltage equation? V is equals to ISE RSE plus, because ISE is different from IA. IA RA plus EB plus Brush drop, this is simply voltage equation. What is the power equation? V into IL is equals to ISE square RSE and IA square RA and EB into IA and brush losses plus don't write V into ISH because here of course V but this is not V. So what is that? ISH square RSH. This is what the current voltage power equations of short shunt motor we drawn. Right? In generator, I am not done that what is ISH here? Of course, here ISH is equal to V by RSH, we know for generator and motor same because the voltage is same because both are in parallel. But these are not in parallel, I didn't in generator, you have to done for generator, I will do for motor. That's why I leave, the, leave it already. I leave it because you have to done. So see here, find ISH from the diagram. So, from the diagram, nothing but this loop. What is this loop? See once, what is the diagram? This is V. And this is what? This is what? This loop. This is the V and here ISE. Because this is RSE. And here ISH. Because this is RSH. So here the current is like this. I want ISH. Can you give me the answer? Very simple. This is minus plus and this is plus minus 
and this is also plus minus always the current flows from higher potential to lower potential higher potential to lower potential so tell me what is the answer minus v minus v is minus v plus ISE RSE plus ISH RSH is equals to zero bring this to the side or v on the side but i want ish rsh ish rsh is equals to ise rse minus v s or no so ish is equals to what is the value tell me sir can you tell me what is the value so here ise rse minus V by RSH this is what for motor for generator you have to derive the formula and give me the answer actually here you can get the plus so see what actually here this is minus or plus and uh, this is also this is first one I take it and this is also first one and this is also first one you have to take if you take oh, this is second one then you have to minus and minus. Like that also you can get the answer. ISH RSH is equal to bring the side V minus ISE RSE. Then what is ISH? ISH is equal to V minus ISE RSE upon RSH. This is the formula for ISH for Short-shent motor. Sir, what is the formula for short-shent generator? You have to derive the formula for generator ISH. Of course, you will get here plus that's it actually. Okay, but try it. For short-shent generator, try the ISH. So, remember V plus is for generator. V minus is for motor. This is simply the long-shent and short-shent motors. So, what is that? Here. ISH is equals to V plus ISE RSE by RSH. This is for generator, but this is for motor. Don't confuse here. Is it clear up to now? Everything is okay. This is one classification. What is that long shunt and short shunt? What is the next classification? That is the cumulative and differential compound motors. Okay, let's see that. Right. So, cumulative compound motor and differential compound motor. Let's see about these two. We know that cumulative compound motor nothing but phi is equals to phi SH plus phi SE. But uh, differential compound motor, phi SH minus phi SE. Yes or no? So, here the two fluxes are in additive, here the two fluxes are in subtractive. Let's draw the graph IA and the speed. We know that if IA is equal to 0, the no load speed is N naught is like this next for cumulative compound motor if ia increases then what happened phi se increases if phi se increases then what happened the flux increases we know that the speed is inversely proportional to flux when the flux increases then the speed decreases ultimately when the flux increases then the speed decreases ultimately this is cumulative compound motor whereas for differential compound motor if again ia increases when ia increases automatically phi se increases if phi se increases flux decreases when speed is inversely proportional to flux, if the flux decreases, then speed increases. Nothing but here the 
speed is increasing it is actually not more practically it is like this this is differential compound motor differential compound motor generally sir they will ask you question in generally if load increases what happens to the speed normally when load increases speed should decrease yes or no but see here when the load increases speed also increases that's why this is called a mad motor there is no any applications for this mad motor yes or no generally if you are if you are lifting 100 kg and walking with some 2 km per hour if i put on another 100 kg of weight finally your load is doubled then what is your speed actually it may be zero yes or no but our motor will rotates with double the speed when load increases speed increases but at full load the at full load the full load speed is equals to mostly no load speed this is the another point you should remember so it may leads to speed regulation of zero this is only the one possibility speed regulation is zero for differential compound motor from no load to full load is the one thing this is the differential compound motor and cumulative compound motor no applications for differential compound motor but the cumulative compound motor where we have to use the applications of cumulative compound motor is like a compressors compressors like a punching machines punching machines like a shearing machines shearing machines like a rolling mills rolling mills like these applications heavy duty applications we can use cumulative motor okay like a compressors punching machines shearing machines rolling mills etc in this condition we can use the cumulative compound motor after doing all this they asked the question in which of the following motor will not use it for belt drive which of the following motor will not used for belt drive option a shunt option b differential compound option c cumulative compound option d series motor then tell me which of the following is correct answer which of the following is not used for belt drives actually what i said you there is no applications for differential compound motor that's why 90% of fellows going for differential compound motor which is wrong answer we can use for belt drive we can use this is also for better drive this is also for better drive but this is the variable speed that's why series motors are not preferable for belt drive these are mostly constant speed light changes that's why we can use these for belt drive applications but the series motors are not used for belt drive just think the question and give the answer don't give blindly okay so this is the questions on differential and cumulative compound motors and it's a uh, characteristics speed characteristics sir what about torque characteristics the torque characteristics are similar so let's go for torque characteristics i'm going to draw the torque characteristics here for differential and cumulative compound see here the armature current and here the torque actually this is the shunt motor torque it should be like this but when the armature current increases flux increases when the phi s e increases total flux decreases we know torque directly proportional to flux when flux decreases torque also decreases when flux decreases torque also decreases this is for differential compound motor as usually here when phi s e increases the total flux also increases when the total flux increases 
torque directly proportional to flux when the flux increases automatically torque also increases automatically torque also increases this is for cumulative compound motor this is for differential compound motor the torque equation torque characteristics and the speed characteristics for differential compound motor and cumulative compound motor is it okay sir let's draw the all the characteristics here let's draw all the characteristics here all nothing but still we have a two one is the dc shunt either one is the dc series that is enough so let's include here the dc shunt and dc series also already i included the shunt this is the shunt i included the shunt what about series the series torque is parabola like a parabola so it is like this this is the series and this is the cumulative compound shunt and differential compound and here this is the series and this is the shunt these are the speed characteristic for all the motors and the torque characteristics for all the motors here which having the zero speed regulation can you tell me the zero speed regulation is only one differential compound motor which are the following having the all are having the same regulation nothing but these all are having the negative regulation or positive regulation this is having no load is no load speed minus full load speed by either no load speed or full load speed this is what speed regulation here no load speed is greater than full load speed all are having positive speed regulations only positive speed regulations only the full load speeds are less than all yes sir no right sir is there any possibility of negative speed regulation the possibility is only for differential compound either zero or negative which of the following having the least regulation the shunt motor having the least regulation just not even 5% here right so this is simply about the speed characteristics of all the motors this is the torque characteristics all the motors which having the highest starting torque here series motor having the highest starting torque is it clear are you okay right so this is completely the characteristics of all the motors we discuss like a all the generator characteristics also if you take the this is for same no load speed no load speed same same no load speed which having the highest no load speed series motor infinite we don't know we don't know what is the no load speed of the dc series motor that's why it is called dangerously high speed which having the least to full load speed least to full load speed is the series highest full load speed is the differential compound highest full load speed is the possibility of differential compound which having the constant speed shunt motor having the constant speed for example if the same graph for same full load speed this is the current and this is the speed for example this is at full load full load like this this is the full load speed then how the graph if this is no load speed and full load speed both are same so how it is actually if it is here see one observe here one observe here if the full load speed is here no load speed is here if the full load speed is here no load speed is here same next one see here if the no load speed is here full load speed here if the no load speed here full load speed somewhat full load speed is here no load speed somewhat greater as usually for cumulative this is for cumulative this is for shunt this is for differential compound what about series what about series sir actually if the full load speed is here no load speed is here 
If the full load speed is here, nothing but no load speed somewhere. This is for series. This is at same full load speed. For same full load speed, which having the highest no load, I can see this. No doubt at all. So like that, they will ask you questions on the different different motor characteristics. So these characteristics are important even in motor and generator. In generator, external characteristics are important. In motor, torque and speed characteristics are important. Are you okay? Right? Thank you.